We are Anir and Swati and in this series we are doing a 15 days New Zealand road trip. This time we are covering South Island. In our last episode we explored the adventure city Queenstown. Today we are going to majestic Milford Sound which might just be the 8th wonder of the world. So we started the day early. It's a long drive to Milford Sound. We also want to check a few points on the way. To reach Milford Sound, you can either drive or you can take a day bus or you can take the luxurious scenic flight. The drive from Queenstown is around 280 kilometers and it will take us probably 4 to 5 hours to reach Milford Sound. It is one of the wettest places on earth with 182 days of rain in a year and we are also expecting rain today. We have reached TNO and taken a stop for breakfast at Sandfly Cafe. TNO is known as the gateway to Fiordland, Milford Sound and Doubtful Sound. It offers a range of activities which makes it worth staying a while. It's also a good place to stay if you want to avoid a long drive to Milford Sound as it's located in between. The Milford Road takes you straight through the Eglinton Valley. As you drive out of the forest, the view suddenly opens up into wide and flat valley floor covered with golden green grassland and steep rocky mountains. We parked on roadside to walk into the valley and soak in the view. Several areas of Eglinton Valley were locations in the Lord of the Rings movies. Next stop is just a few kilometers down the road. We stopped at Mirror Lake, which is a perfect name for this lake. Today it's cloudy and rainy, but on a calm day, the lake provides a glassy clear reflections of the Earl Mountains, and hence the name. The walk itself is really lovely, and it's a wooden boardwalk which only takes a few minutes, but it's well worth the stop. This path is wheelchair accessible and good for children too. Our next stop is Lake Gun. It's a glacial lake which is nestled between lush native forests and framed by towering mountains. This pristine freshwater gem showcases the natural splendor that defines New Zealand's wilderness. To reach Milford, we cross the Homer Tunnel, which is 1.3 kilometers long. Before the tunnel opened in 1954, there was no road access to Milford Sound. Building the Homer Tunnel was not an easy task as the workers had to drill through the granite rocks that is known as the Homer Saddle. The work was hard and the conditions tough, but they persisted. After 19 years of construction, the tunnel finally opened and visitors began to flock. We have just reached Milford Sound and parked our car in the car park and now we are heading towards our cruise. A cruise is the best way to experience Milford Sound because it's the only way to get up close and personal with the towering cliff faces and thunderous waterfalls, showcasing its true scale and magnificence. There are several different types of cruises and operators to choose from, which can be a little overwhelming. But regardless of which one you choose, you will get to experience the whole 16 km length of Milford Sound and all its beauty. So we have got our boarding passes. We have booked our cruise with Sudden Discoveries. Uh, there are two types of tickets that you can book. One is just for the cruise and another one is for the underwater observatory. And we have booked both.
the history of Milford Sound began thousand years back when it was discovered by the Maui people of South Island. The tribes would travel to fish and hunt around the fjord. Early European settlers did not explore Milford Sound and in 1823, a sealer called John Grono was the first European settler to visit and named it Milford Sound. However, the name Sound is incorrect. Milford Sound is a fjord made by glaciers carving a path to the sea. Sounds are formed when a river valley is flooded by the sea. In 1990, Milford Sound along with the rest of the fjord land and three other national parks was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Milford Sound is a long narrow inlet located at the northernmost end of the Fjordland National Park, opening out onto the Tasman Sea. The length of Milford Sound is approximately 16 kilometers and in places it is up to 400 meters deep. Gushing down from the surrounding rainforest into Milford Sound are countless waterfalls. There are two main permanent waterfalls in Milford Sound, Lady Bowen Falls and Stirling Falls. The heavy rainfall and surrounding rainforest create a unique effect where the top of the water is fresh water while the rest is salt water from Tasman Sea. New Zealand's fur seal inhabit Milford Sound year around and can often be seen basking in the sun. These seals can grow up to 2 meters in length and weigh up to 200 kgs. Milford Sound is the wettest inhabited place in New Zealand and one of the wettest place in the world. On an average, it rains 182 days a year. The temperature in Milford Sound ranges from 18 degrees in summer to 4 degrees in winter. It's advisable to keep a waterproof layer and warm clothes to feel comfortable. A question does come up as when is the right time to visit? The answer is whenever you come to Milford, it will not disappoint you and will keep you speechless for sure. We were just not ready to leave Milford and wanted to see what's beneath. Descending 64 steps and 10 meters below sea level, we reached the underwater observatory. We saw the colorful sea life and black corals usually found at 500 meters in open ocean. It felt like a natural aquarium where the sea life is free to roam. His name is Steve. I know it's Steve because he's missing the bottom bit of his tail. Uh, Steve's a really curious fish. A lot of times he'll swim up to the window and say hi. Uh, Steve is a male scarlet wrasse. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had a little girl told me she saw a mermaid down here. <laughs> Oh my God, it was absolutely unreal and unbelievable. This place is so beautiful. It felt like heaven on earth. In next episode, we will take the Hooker Valley track and see gorgeous Mount Cook up close. If you are enjoying our New Zealand series, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. You can also catch us on Insta.